Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another Hot Wheels reveal on the Richard Petty Tribute to Petty 74 Dodge Charger. Um, these were released in Kellogg cereals. As you can see, we got Cheerios. I happened to collect the um, whole Tribute to Petty Kellogg's um, collection of these cars. Um, as you can see, I have some duplicates. Um, um, it's going to be a whole series. I'm going to review all of them that I have, the petition they're in, and, uh, I don't know, what they're worth, I guess. But, um, anyway, let's, I, I even have the cardboard cut out that I would review if I didn't lose it. Because, if you look in here, you guys can't see, but it's not in there. Um, but we do have... Your whole collection. You guys can't see that either. But let's get into the 74 Dodge Charger. Now, I think this car was actually done very well by Hot Wheels. It's got the nice tribute to Petty logo, which let me put on flash real quick. Has some pretty uh, decent detail if the camera would focus on it. But it definitely has some pretty decent detail compared to a lot of, you know, other Hot Wheels castings with... Fa famous people's faces on it. <laughs> One thing I think they could have done really well on is if they put Goodyear tires on the car. Now, one example that I have of Goodyear tires on a car um, from Hot Wheels, I have a um, Firebird um, in the box, and it's got Goodyear tires on it. Now, yeah, it's not really a NASCAR Firebird because it's more of a 90s one, but why wouldn't they put Goodyear tires on a literal NASCAR? Like, come on, Hot Wheels. One thing that most people probably wouldn't like about Hot Wheels models is how they usually have no details. Now, in this case, it comes into help because, well, to be honest, Hot Wheels cars, I mean, well, NASCARs aren't really supposed to have headlights or taillights back in the 70s because, like I said, this is a 74 Dodge Charger. This thing would not have even stickers symbolizing headlights or taillights. It would just be a nice sleek paint job going down the NASCAR track and flipping over the course and hitting the ambulances. That was an actual crash that happened to Richard Petty, though. It cost him a race. Just wanted you to know that. Um, I think I think how we did this casting very well, this specific one. Um, it's Of course, it's got a bit of paint wear. It is a bit old. Um, if you guys don't know... Um, in Wisconsin, I'm not sure if it's anywhere else. I am not sure, but we have this thing called Seven Mile Fair, and since I live, where they do it in Milwaukee, and since I live in Milwaukee, I get the privilege of going there, and I happen to find this and a Dodd Intrepid, I don't know how to say it, Intrepid, Intrepid, whatever, in a, just a pile of clothes, so I picked these up, and I was like, hey, these are pretty cool, let me research them. Turns out... They did a whole series, and that's how I collected these all. And, um, now here I am doing a video on it. Well, this specific car, um, I'm not sure if other cars may have done this, but as you can see here, we got a little bit of a stain right there at the tip of my finger. Now, if I take my finger and I go at my fingernail and I go up against it, it's got a bit of a texture going on to it. I do the same thing right here hear that? That is my nail going up across it. On this side, it does not have that. And these are not stickers on the car. Because they are in the same place on every single car. They are poorly put on tampos or clear coat from the factory. Now, of course, I don't really know what this is right here. This little residue, it's probably dirt or something that got stuck onto the paint over the years, but maybe there was a sticker there once. But over here, as you can see, the only real big imperfection is right there at the tip of my finger. There's a bit of a paint chip there. And since this tampo is also sort of textured like a sticker, and it's not on the back either, it's not textured like that, or on the roof or anywhere else. Since it's just right there, um, probably just a bad clear coat job. Now, I'm not sure if it's like that on any other Richard Petty's. Of course, I cannot check on this one. 
because it's in its original package. But um, maybe I can. No, this is all fine. Um, well, I've been talking about this one for a while. Let's show you guys the Cheerios car. Now, the Cheerios car has plenty of other sponsors. Like, this one's got plenty of sponsors, too. But, it's basically STP. But on here, we got a big old Betty Crocker. We even got a Hamburger Helper on this thing. And this is, I think it's very cool. Um, once again, Goodyear Tires. It's, got, even, it's even got the Goodyear logo on this on this one. Right there. And no Goodyear Tires. The same tires that were on this car. And I think a couple other. The base on this car is the same. I accidentally paused the video. But the base on the car is the same. Don't say anything different. Um, overall, it's it, they're decent cars. They are very, uh, very collectible Hot Wheels. When I first got this thing, um, I was searching up prices, and it's worth around, I want to say, $13 like it is. $10, I don't know, at least 5 bucks for this car. And for these, probably $13, brand new in the package. So, there's that. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the first... What the hell is that? chocolate but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the first video where i actually decided to film sideways like a normal human being and uh yeah stay tuned for the next one that i will film that i plan that i will plan on filming tomorrow morning for good to film it and film it two weeks later bye bye once again that is pause not stop damn it